Hi, I'm Michelle, and today we'll be discussing the methods you can use to form your LLC in Nevada. We're going to be covering the steps involved in starting your LLC, the forms that you're going to need, the naming requirements, and the main five steps that are needed to actually register your LLC in Nevada. I'll also be explaining the importance of having a registered agent and a very key term which is known as piercing the corporate veil. So if you're not aware of what these terms are, then you definitely don't want to miss this video. Nevada compared to other neighboring states offers the lowest tax burden to the entrepreneurs. If any person is looking up to form an LLC in the state of Nevada, it would be the best option for small businesses. The hospitality and tourism industry contributes to about $67.6 billion to the state's annual GDP. The state is lately famous for gambling activities that are carried out across here. According to the state board, there are around 441 casinos currently active in the state, which is known to generate a gross total of around $11.6 billion. Most people do come to the state for gambling only, which means that the casinos are an indirect supporter of the state's tourism sector. Now, you can start up your Nevada LLC by three methods. Number one is that you can do it yourself, in which case you need to choose out the form forms and fill them online, or you can send them off via mail. And number two is that you hire a professional service to do it for you, which is the most easy and secure method out there. Now, we recommend Taylor Brand as one of the best services out there for this purpose itself. Number three is that you can go ahead and hire an attorney. Now coming to a very common question and an important question as well. Now, what exactly is an LLC? An LLC is a hybrid business entity combining a corporation's characteristics with a partnership or sole proprietorship. It separates your personal assets from your business assets, thus giving you personal asset protection. When starting an LLC in Nevada, you mainly have to file the certificate of formation with the state and pay a filing fee of $425. In this video, we will be discussing option number one and number two, but placing emphasis on why you need a professional service to do it for you, because you have to make sure that you're doing your LC work correctly, because this is one of those things where you can't afford missing out key information of had or have any misunderstandings. Taylor Brands is a really good and competent professional service that you can get because forming an LC is not just finding the certificate of formation, but also deciding on a name, hiring a registered agent, creating an operating agreement, and obtaining an EIN. All of these can be done under one roof with Taylor Brands. I'll be leaving the links in the description below so you can easily go and check them out. When now going to discuss in detail the five important steps that you must cover when forming your LLC in Nevada. Now, the first step of starting off your LLC in Nevada is basically choosing the business name. Now, before you name your business, you must know that the name should be easy to remember, should be available in the state, and follows all the LLC naming guidelines. You can find the naming guidelines at startmylc.io. The specific requirements that need to be followed when naming the company are number one, your business name should be available, and no other existing business in Nevada can share that name. Each business name is unique to its owner. Number two is that limited liability company or LLC should be there as a suffix in the company name. You cannot use any name for your business that is confusing or misleading. Terms such as Treasury, State of Department, State Department, FBI, CIA, they should not be included. Terms like bank, university, attorney, and doctor, they can be added, but you need to go through the additional requirements by the Nevada State Government. If you do not wish to file your LLC right now, but you want to hold on to the name that you've decided, then you can reserve your LLC name for 90 days. Now, to keep the name, you have to pay $25 to reserve your name with the Nevada Secretary of State. Now, the second and highly vital step to forming an LLC in the state of Nevada is to appoint a registered agent. A registered agent is an entity that will act or work on your LLC's behalf and will receive important paperwork and other government correspondence. Hence, hiring a competent registered agent for your LLC is extremely necessary. Now, make sure your registered agent in Nevada is, has a physical street address. The business address is used as the LLC's principal address in Nevada. Most LLC formation companies also provide registered agent services. Taylor Brands is a great LLC setup service, and even if you buy the cheapest plan, which is around $49, you also get registered agent service and other services services at a very reasonable price. Now, a key thing to note when getting a registered agent is the importance of having one and having a legit one. Because in case of any lawsuit or if you get sued, the lawyer of the other party is going to do what is known as piercing the corporate will. Now, most people believe that they are setting up their LLCs for tax purposes, but the real reason for setting up your LLC is to limit your liability. Basically, what it does is that it creates a divide between your personal assets and your business assets, thus giving you safety in your personal assets. So if you're sued in your business, they cannot really go after your personal assets. Now, when you're sued, the attorney who's the one suing you is going to start looking for cracks in your LLC. And now this is where they pierce the corporate will. Now, the first thing they're going to do is check whether you have a registered agent, if the agent is legit, and have they been filing all the paperwork. Coming to the third and another important step in forming an LLC is to file the Certificate of Formations. The Nevada Articles of Organization is a legal document needed to officially register your business with the Secretary of State. It costs $425 to file your formation certificate in Nevada. 
The certificate of formation includes details like the name of the LLC, registered agent name, address, employee details, structure of the company, whether it's member managed or manager managed. Now, before you hire your employees in Nevada, you should really know the rules and regulations thoroughly to avoid any future issues. We suggest using Taylor Brands to file the certificate of formation because they provide an easier way to fill out the forms without any confusion or missing any steps. If you get stuck anywhere, they do have a live chat that will definitely help you out as soon as they can. Now the fourth step is filing the operating agreement. An operating agreement is an internal document that legally outlines the proprietorship and operating procedures of your LLC. Now this document is vital as it ensures that all the business owners are on the same page regarding how they operate, their voting power, business resolutions, and so much more, which helps reduce future conflicts. Now when it comes to filing a Nevada LLC operating agreement, the state doesn't really require you to have a very comprehensive operating agreement. But what it is ideal is to have one that contains the details of your entire business operation. It's recommended that it should be done by using a professional service such as Taylor Brands since they know exactly what to do and you won't have to worry about missing out on any of the details. The agreement template is drafted for a very small fee of $29. The EIN, also known as the Employer Identification Number, is a nine-digit number given by the IRS to make it easier to identify the type of businesses for tax purposes and taxes in general. The EIN is necessary for any active business out there or any form of businesses for that matter. An EIN is needed when the LLC hires employees. To obtain one, one has to fill up a form which is done online or can be done by mail and you submit it to the IRS. You can also get EIN assistance through Taylor Brands who can help you out with the process. I'll be leaving the links to all the resources in the description below. You can go there and check out which options fit your requirements. For now, I'm going to be showing you how to file your forms using Taylor Brands. So this is the website for Taylor Brands. And as you can see on the website, there's option to set up your LLC and you can also design a logo, merch and the website itself for your brand in case you need one and haven't really gotten around to getting it. I'm going to go into form an LLC. Now choose the state that you're setting up your LLC in. Add your business name. You can check for the name availability here, which will save you a lot of time. Or alternatively, you can choose the method that I told you earlier by going to the business entity name search. Click on the type of services that you're offering. You'll have to pick which stage of your business that you're on, whether you're still in the idea stage or it has been set up and fully running. Choose what sort of income your brand will be. Choose whether your business will have a physical address to receive the documents and also whether there'll be a dedicated person there who's gonna receive these. Select the number of employees. Now you have to fill out the information for your business, like your name, phone number, email address. Now choose whether you want to opt for a registered agent or not. Taylor Brand charges $199 annually for hiring a registered agent. If you don't have one, then I highly recommend that you get one through them because the one thing you can't risk is not having a legitimate registered agent. You're gonna need an EIN like I discussed before for tax related purposes. If you don't have one or you're overwhelmed by the process required to get an EIN, then just let Taylor Brands do it for you. It's gonna cost you $99. Pick if you wanna file for compliance. It will cost you $199 when you do it through Taylor Brands. Here you can choose whether you want to have your business branding done. If you already have things like logos, domain, and a website, then just move forward. Select if you want to speed up the process. You can form the operating agreement using Taylor Brands. If you haven't made one already, or you are unsure of how to proceed with making the agreement by yourself. See if all the information that you chose and entered is correct and check the final billing as well. You can now proceed to pay for the service and that's all you need to start and form your LLC. So now that you've created your Nevada LLC, what's next? Well, there are still a few things that you might have missed out. You need to get a company business bank account and a business credit card. You need to file the Nevada business permits and licenses. Get general liability insurance and professional liability insurance with coverage for employees. File a Nevada annual report. I do hope you enjoyed this detailed video on how to start your LLC in Nevada and I wish you the best of luck if you're starting off your business over there. Please continue supporting our channel by liking the video, subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification button. Thank you for watching.